Alright people, welcome back. Of course you guys know I am not spamming that. I am uh, totally not. And as you can clearly see, we have a new deck here on uh, Daily Duels here. Of course, it is Cosmos. Yes, I've, I wanted to try this deck out. I wanted to see how good this deck is. And uh, hopefully we can do some plays. Hopefully we can. Uh, I don't know if not fantastically, but I have plays, so that's good. Ugh. Uh, I'm I'm running back row. I'm definitely running to back row. I don't want to reveal my deck right now. Uh, I don't want to return a slip rider. I might want to go ahead and summon him. So we'll just take the we'll just take the duel slow. We'll do we'll, 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 we're chill. We're chill. We got our field spell, and of course, uh, like I said, this deck really revolves around the field spell and um, and uh, the field spell. Let's go ahead and go ahead and summon farm girl, and and farm girl and. The field spell, definitely. All right, so we'll go ahead and summon you. And you'll go ahead and redeclare. But as you can see, surprise, motherfucker! I can go ahead and summon the slip rider. I don't have anything to pop though. Uh huh. Damn, damn. Cosmo noob and then quit. Like nigga, nigga, why'd you quit? If I'm such a noob, then why'd you quit? Like I said, I still don't really feel like this deck is that good. But I, I definitely feel like running backer will make it better. So. Yeah, we're trying. I'm still trying out the limb removal. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like I said, this deck generally pushes away a lot of damage, and uh, I just want to see if I can at least make it decent. But for right now, just it relies a lot on farm girl and has consistency issues. So we'll go ahead and get another duel and be right back. All right, back. So people acting like chilling, acting like children. Just mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. okay. Got my emergency teleport again. Uh, I'm not gonna grab my field spell yet. No, not yet. I don't want to grab my field spell yet. And the reason why is because I want to reveal my deck, of course. So, I'm just going to set these. Emergency teleport. Oh my god. So, so clutch. Just being able to go ahead and summon a Cosmo from your deck. Just summon that farm girl from your deck. Yes. Yes, please. Anyway. Uh, I don't know what I'm naming this title of this episode yet, but I'm going to, of course, talk about my locals. How I, how I, did, a Cle how I did with my Cleese at locals this time because, you know, I go on Tuesdays. Ooh, Corona Maui. Okay. Uh, let's see how you stack up. Gonna go ahead and activate once per turn. You can banish one color magic monster from your graveyard and target one color magic monster in your graveyard with the same level as a banished monster and special summon. Okay, so banish one, summon one. Cool. Okay, and what do you do? Is a face you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, that's fine. Next chosen monster. When you do, is your stuff okay? Okay. I say a friend plays Chrome Alleys, and I thought I knew him, but I really don't. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, guess this guy. I will take that. Actually, I'll take all of this. I'll take both of them. I'm planning on killing you and definitely getting my search on. So I'll take both of that. Yeah, I'm t definitely. I saw him make a Chaos's deck profile, and I got a, I based up on this deck a lot off of their deck. So. Uh, hopefully I can do some plays. Ooh, slip. Slip is not bad. So of course we're gonna go ahead and activate that emergency teleport. It's an emergency. So go ahead and summon that farm girl. Powerful farm girl. And of course if you tried to hit me with any back row, I could just hop out of the way, so that's what makes that's one of the things that makes farm girl so good. I think I might hold on to these. Like that whole like shuffle it back into your deck at play. I mean, don't I want I want these guys in my hand because I summon them from my my uh my hand. I don't know. I guess you want to shuffle the the smaller ones back in. I guess that that's the idea. So I'm gonna declare my attack. Take the hundred. Yes, sir. And pay five hundred. Oh, I need to start gaining some life points. I'm already burning through the butt ton of my life points. Oh my god. Um, 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 Farm girl can search for farm girl. I don't want to think this weird. Good bitch, you are really not that good, are you? You really aren't. But I guess I'll take you. I said right now, cosmos are just weak just because they have consistency issues, but. And I'm definitely gonna go ahead and 
and a shield, especially summon Slip Rider, destroy his his bar barbalon. You know, I could summon Forerunner, but I think destroying this card right now because I don't I'm gonna kill him, and I don't want you to banish summon next turn. I don't want that. Hmm. Okay. I thought anyway, so I'm good. So if you kill me, I'm gonna float. So pseudo float. Wait, I summon one from my deck, right? Just like this deck burns through a lot of life points. I probably might want to take out like Ring of Destruction and shit, cause I do not have the life points to be paying. Not even close. So that's why I didn't Fiendish Chain because it means I was just gonna hop out of the way. So then he's like, oh, I'll just Fiendish Chain the monster he summons. Like, okay, that's cool. You look at it and go for four, right? You wouldn't even be able to finish Chain but then four wouldn't have done anything when it comes to this. Because I'm not sure if there's any Chrono Malik Sea Monsters or anything that could take out Forerunner off the top of my mind. That's fine, because I have my own Phoenix Chain, so. Like I said, I'm not really afraid of you destroying me. Because I float, so. Are you during the player's turn? During the player's turn, okay. So I'm a level 5 or higher Cosmic Monster. Yep, that's cool. Next turn, I, I might go ahead and activate. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely go ahead and activate Terraform and get my fill spell. Pay the life points, get Farm Girl back. Go ahead and normal summon Farm Girl and fuck him up. Because I'm probably gonna go ahead and float off of the Slip Rider. So this deck's not bad. It's just, I just don't feel like you're playing it right. Uh, if the deck kind of pseudo floats, then I definitely think you should go ahead and uh, run some back row. You know, stay, stay in control of the duel. With your monsters floating and you running some back row, yeah. Because majority of decks, Cosmo decks I see, they either don't run any back row and run shit like, you know, Royal Decree and shit. Oh my god, I really want to go ahead and Ring of Destruction you. Yeah, I'm going to take out Ring of Destruction. I could just told the onion on this deck. I just, I really, Ring of Destruction was like a last minute thing. Because like, I want more back row. Not back row that pays me life points. Shit. Yeah, fucking Daniel needs to go ahead and summon himself a fucking uh, Forerunner and start gaining some life points during my standby phase. It's interesting that he went for him. Because if he, if he would have went for uh, someone else, I probably would have let him keep it and let him kill my Slip Rider. But because he went for Zemai, I was like, no, 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 I don't, I don't have to destroy that shit. <sighs> go ahead and activate that. Cosmo Town. Um... Don't know. I'm guessing this first one's the the hand one. What's well, her new target when you banish Cosmo? I'm assuming this is the, yeah, the first effect. Yeah, okay. Uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, put them effects on for me, that'd be great. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to turn you to defense since you're not doing anything, and nor do I plan on getting rid of that Phoenix Chain anytime soon. And now, since I got my farm girl back, I'm about to beat your ass! <laughs> Alright, I should really get started on talking about uh, on how my locals win. So, the way my locals work is if you win, you pretty much get your name on the board and a bounty on your head. And not only is it like an incentive to keep you coming. Yes, I'm still not in cowboy territory. So as long as I'm not in cowboy territory, I'll be okay. That's all that matters. Um, I don't know. I mean, Good Witch. I mean, this deck is so revolved around Farm Girl. It just doesn't seem like I really need Good Witch. But all right. I said I guess she's just another summoner, but she's she's nothing in comparison. We'll go ahead and summon a Forerunner. Let's see. see, even though my life points are low, I'm still in control of the duel. I still got this finish chain. I still got my bottomless. You can't target me. What I said, I I definitely feel like this deck could be good. I really do. I might go ahead and shuffle her back. Because I really do not need this bitch. I'd rather have her in the deck. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and shuffle her back. Because I don't need Good Witch. Okay, I'll say. I'd rather go ahead and draw some somewhere back row, but alright. <laughs> as simple as that, alright. I knew he was just going to throw the Dark Hole at me. I was like, Dark Hole Redecky? That's cool. Cool story, bro. I'm, I mean, I'm still gonna get my effects off, so. I, said, I, I want the big guys in my hand, I just. I don't have any. 
Uh, Slip Rider. You're gonna summon a level four lower. Mm, no. Forerunner, yes, because Forerunner can summon me Slip Rider. Slip Rider, fat. Go ahead and destroy your Babylon before you get to use it. So I'm putting it at work right now, and I'm in control of the duel. Like I said, with your floating effects, I definitely think that you can be in control of the duel. It's just the deck is just a little bit inconsistent. It revolves a little bit to around Farm Girl. It's just a little bit too inconsistent. God, she's a psychic, you know? She was like a spellcaster or something. Oh my god, but, you know, then she's a psychic, so you can pull off that emergency teleport play, which is not bad. I definitely think I should run, like, you know, more shit that can affect attack during the damage tab. Um, either Forbidden Lance or Shrink, just so I can pull off more plays with, uh, with Farm Girl, because like I said, deck's very reliant. Running Serene Psychic Witch, because when she's destroyed, I get to go ahead and uh, banish the Psychic Tide Monster worth 2,000 Tackle from your deck, of course, her, and then I get her back. Uh, no. And um, during next time, I face this card stays in the graveyard, or special summon that monster. Hmm. Why she white? Might be better. This, this is slow. It might be better just to go ahead and summon the monster to the field. It might be better to run like Shining Angel or something. Someone's like a 1500 or lower light monster. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to work on this deck. I'm going to tweak it, but we're going to get it. It's going to be on here for a while. Cause like I said, I'm tired of talking shit about this deck without knowing this deck completely and utterly and fully. So, all right, I'm going into battle phase and uh, let's say, let's say, does my opponent have something? Or is that it? Okay, that is it. Alright, so let me go ahead and tweak the deck and I'll be right, be right back. Alright, so let me, while I'm focusing on using Cosmos, let me go ahead and talk. Oh, got my Shining Angel, so that can pull off some plays. So I need my high high monsters though. Once again, I'm really getting my high monsters. This is like a target with my banished Cosmos jump to hand. I can really never have Cosmo monsters in my hand, shuffle them back into the deck. Okay. I'll take a little slow. No reason to overextend right now, especially since I don't have the big guys. See, that's 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 what the problem with the floating unit. You need the big guys in your hand, but if you don't have the the little guys, some big guys in your hand, you're just dead drunk. But then you don't have the fucking. Yep. <laughs> yep. I, I'm getting recognized just a little bit more lately. Uh, they kind of they kind of conflict, you know. They kind of conflict. I mean, like I said, I am not the biggest fan of this deck so far. I definitely feel like maybe maybe one or two sets, maybe you can see something, but for right now, you're just seeing a little bit shaky. You know, you're like, hey, you know, we're pretty good because we beat and we float. And it's just like, and there's a lot of other decks that beat and float a lot better than you. A lot better than you. Anyway, <laughs> let me go ahead and get. So, of course, uh, since I won last week, since I won last Tuesday, I pretty much had to enter the tournament. I had to enter the tournament to hold my title. I mean, they give you one week to miss, but fuck it, I was already there, right? So, I entered. Uh, I still have my $35 store credit, didn't spend it, so I was like, no, take $5 store credit, put it in the tournament, why not? So, of course, once again, going with my Tower Turbo. Uh, still working on the deck, it's still in progress, still. There's some things that I'm worried about with the consistency and playing Chicken Game. I hate that card, I really do. I really hate that card. It's like a fucking uh, one day. You know, it's great for me sometimes, but then I don't like making my opponent draw. You know, like, oh, that's totally what I want you to do is give you additional draws into shit, so I might go ahead and take Chicken Game out. Not sure what I'll replace it with for, as of right now, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and take it out just because I'm not liking that card. But uh, anyway, uh, first round I go up against one of my friends, my friend's name uh, Darian, and uh, he decides to go ahead and enter with uh, Volcanics. Yeah, Volcanics. He has BA, but he decides to go ahead and enter Volcanics. I think he, I think he let someone borrow his Dante's, someone else. But, uh, yeah, he decided to go ahead and go with uh, Volcanics. So I duel him first time, you know, I drop that first turn towers. And usually you would think, oh my god, first turn towers, you know, what the fuck does Volcanics do against that shit? I shit you not, when it comes to my deck, I pay a lot of life points. You know, the chicken games, that's 1,000 life points. My scout, that's 1,800 uh, life points. I pay a lot of life points to get my play set up. And uh, made one of the major problems with uh, getting my play set up and doing all of that, uh, is the fact that uh, I paid so much life points that the man barely just went. Uh, I was like, oh, it's, you know, towers, drop towers, bam, towers effect. He's like, I'm like, send a monster. He's like, okay, I'm gonna drop counter. Like, all right. 
and then later on doing, he's like, drop another counter. And I think that was at one point in my life points. Even with towers on the fucking field, I had less than 5,000 life points. He was like, fucking, uh, search for shell. Shell, tack, I take 25. Counter, counter, you take 5,000 game. It's like, fucking burned me. You didn't beat me, you burned me to death. You burned me to fucking death. And now I am dead because you have burned me. Like, oh my god. Wow, I mean, I'm just getting these terraformings. That's, that's awesome. I only run two terraformings. I run two terraformings in pretty Cosm Town because the decks are really reliant on Cosm Town. And uh, it's pretty obvious that I am not getting any of my plays. So I'll go ahead and use the Cosmo Town. I will go ahead and shuffle. I really wish I could shuffle Cosmo cards back. That'd be great because I would love to go ahead and go terraforming, search for another Cosmo Town, and shuffle back. But. <sighs> okay, that's better. I can I could definitely go ahead and use a slip rider, so I'm just kinda stale, stagnant right now. Really I mean I really can't do anything. Can't attack over you, can't do anything to you. I can't I can't. I'm stagnant. I'm really stagnant. I said his deck is top tier. Like he said, you need the big guys. You need the little guys, you need the big guys and I said I think the Shining Angel is a nice inclusion because I can also like float a little bit with Shining Angel. You know, like Shining Angel, Shining Angel, Shining Angel. Take a little bit of damage, Shining Angel, Zack then, and then uh, at the end, I can even go ahead and decide to go ahead and summon Farm Girl and do that play. Or, if it's the last attack, I can go ahead and summon Honest, and then main phase, go ahead and turn the Honest to my hand. So, Shining Angel is not bad. I so said, the freaking Serene Psychic Witch just seems a little slow. Just because, you know, I banish it, I'm wide open for the rest of attacks, and I get next turn. It's like, eh. And she's not a light, she's an earth, she doesn't have any synergy with honest. There's not there's psychics, but you know what what is Good Witch? Is she a psychic? I think she might be a psychic too, but you know. So oh, you're going if you're gonna if you're gonna revolve around uh farm girl like this deck does, then fuck it. Let's go shiny angel. It's like it's it's like it's Mr. Tomato's brother. Like I said, I'm gonna lose this duel just because I can't push and he's gonna outpace me. Like he can literally just stall out and get and build up resources out the ass. Out the fucking ass. Out the fucking wazoo, people. Look at that. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Look at this. Look at all them resources. Look at me. Look at me. Look at him. Look at me. Now look at him. Sadly, I'm not him. Go ahead and play that, Larry. Why do you care? Go ahead and just get thinner to your deck. You know, I'm playing the lances. Playing the lances. So, you know, that's good. So, yeah, he beats me. I summon towers, and he burns me to death. He burns me to death. So game two, I'm you know I'm a little bit more edge, more more cautious, but it still doesn't matter. It still doesn't matter. He ends up you know uh, burning me for enough damage to my paying of my cost of my uh, of my uh, my chicken games and my scouts and uh, you know I was trying to keep my life. I was trying to use chicken game to keep my life points lower, but in the end, he still burnt me to death. He literally burnt me. I think on, on the last door, I think my life points were like a 500, and he was at like 700. Or something, or one of the two, and then he literally just burned me through fucking, uh, like, fucking, oh my god, I, I can't remember the fucking name of that fucking card. What is the name of that fucking card? I mean, it's pretty obvious you want to go ahead and spend my cards on town, but I can always grab another one, and another one, but, you know. It just, just straight up, this card is sent to a graveyard, period, yep. Yeah, this deck that, wow, and he just wow. Why do you quit? You were you were dude. You were still ahead in everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know why you quit. You're right back. I have no idea why he quit. I don't know why he didn't come after me. Oh shit. Red Raptors aren't really that known to come after people. But that man could have beat my ass. Oh, I opened up really well. Yep. We'll go ahead and terraforming. Then get my Cosmo Town. No, really well, just because of this gold sarcophagus. Gold sarc. We'll go ahead and banish the farm girl. We'll go ahead and activate. I'll pay the, th the life points to go ahead and grab me back my farm girl. Pay 300 life points, get farm girl back. I said it crawls around farm girl so much that, hell yeah, I'll grab that. And look, you see my hand is pretty full of monster, but I will gladly go ahead and trade in some of these monsters for some back row, hopefully. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set the Shining Angel to go ahead and summon me another farm girl. I say deck thinning is good. 
like I said, he he probably thinks that this is a farm girl face down. That'd be crazy if he thinks it is. It'd be certain Sacred Witch. Oh, okay. Or we can do this. Or we can do this. Or we can just watch this guy play with himself, and everybody can realize that a uh, Royal Magical Library should definitely be banned, but yet it's not. So, yeah. So, yep, definitely should have sent him causing, I mean, Farm Girl, because Farm Girl could have fucking used Slip Rider, so. So I just, so, I just sit here and watch you play with yourself. I said, this card should be banned. This, right here, banned. Banned. You won't even have monsters to fucking equip with the fucking, uh, golden bamboo sword, broken shit like that. You won't even have shit like that. Okay? I said, Royal Magical Library, what do you expect, right? What do you expect? So yeah, he beats me. He 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 literally two owes me because he burns me to death. He never gets over my killer. He never he never he can't he can't get over my killer. He burns me to death, and that's how I lose people. That's how I lose round fucking one. There's only ten people, so it's only top two. So my chances are not even looking good right now. Like not not even not even people not even. This is this is fun. This is this is this is this is just a fun duel. I said my opponent fucking just sit here and touch himself. Uh, but that's Yu-Gi-Oh for you, right? That's Yu-Gi-Oh. So a real magical library should be banned. Banned. Uh. So look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You're just drawing, 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 drawing. Drawing up a shit storm. And I play. And I play fucking Tower Turbo. Drawing up a shit storm. Holy shit. Anyway, chicken game, pseudo space, terraforming, pseudo space, chicken game. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. So, round one, I lose. Yep, I lose, I lose, I lose. And it sucks. It sucks that you beat me by burning me. I felt, I felt dirty. It felt like, I felt violated. I was like, oh my god. I, I can't, I can't, I can't am. Can't <laughs> So, round two, I duel up against Raid Raptors. And, I know, Raid Raptors and TCG, what the fuck are you doing? That's what I said. You know, he's crazy enough to try it. He, he, he's crazy. And there was actually a point in the duel where he was like, summon my Raid Raptor. Special summon Fezzy. I was like, okay, you can always special summon Raid Raptors. Ah, it, it would be great if you could go ahead and fucking exceed into, uh, into that, uh, Strix. Too bad you don't have it. So I dropped towers on him and beat his ass. And it was, it was, it was a sad duel. It was a sad duel. I, I felt really bad, but it was a sad duel. It was just, it was a sad duel. So, I tooled him. It was nothing. Like I said, it was just like, wow, you're actually fucking trying uh, uh, Red Raptors without strikes. Like, and it was it was terrible. Like, a good majority of the times, I was like, Tower Effects, send a, send a monster from your hand or filter graveyard, and he would have no monsters in, the, in his field. So I'm like, if you don't have any monsters in your hand, I can check your hand. And uh, plenty of times, he would just go ahead and reveal the fucking, uh, uh, his fucking rank up card. Just like, cool story, bro. Too bad you're not really ranking up, huh? So that was round two. So I'm one one. Uh, round three, I go up against uh, Zephyrus, and I know you're like say what Zephyrus? I know, shit. You never see that. And actually, the cool thing is, is that the guy actually put up a really good fight against me. He actually took it to game three because generally I drop towers. He's nothing that he can fucking do. He just loses, right? No, he actually put up a fight against me, and he actually took me to game three because he actually beat me in one round. Uh, and I actually got the deck profile from him, so my live video for tomorrow is his deck profile. And I was like, you know, give me that deck profile because you know, like, like who who the fuck sees Zephyr, right? Who the fuck sees this deck? But hey. So you guys get, to get are gonna get to go ahead and see some of that. So I hope you guys are excited for that. How many counters this fucking shit had? Twelve. Damn. 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 GG. GG. Hey, at least I get time to talk, and you guys can clearly see that a Royal Magical Library should be banned. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at look at this shit. Look at this shit. Fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. Can it? I want to know if he can go through his entire fucking deck. I don't even know what the plague spreader is for. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Like you don't need to plague spreader. Like what is that? What is that? Like, oh my god. Anyway. Uh, he put in that work. He put in that work. I mean, I won in the end. But he he, he definitely gave me a fight. You know, uh, It's actually the same exact Zephyr guy that I beat in the previous tournament. That, anyway, that I dropped the double, the, the double towers on. Same guy. Nigga!
We didn't even do it. I was gonna wait and see what you. Uh, you know, I'm gonna save this replay and see what the fuck you, where the fuck you were going. Let me see this fucking shit. Fucking royal should be banned. Let's go ahead and look at this fucking replay. Be right back, people. All right. Well, he was trying to do the 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 temp the temp temper temp. Templar? The, the, the level 6 synchro that burns you? That's what he was trying, people. That's what he was fucking trying, so. Of course, he didn't pull it off, but that's what he was trying. This man has no fucking extra deck. What the fuck? Gold Sark. Is it a Cosmo Mirror match? I said Cosmos don't have to run an extra deck, but it's good to have your toolbox. It really is. It's always good to have your toolbox. You don't, you don't want to be caught with your pants down. Oh, okay. Mm. Swords. Right. God. Deck, if you love me, you'll let me go ahead and draw fucking Slip Rider. If, Deck, if you like me, you'll let me draw Slip Rider. Because this, this is this. I can tell this duel is already about to get really annoying. Because I, can, I can't even do any fucking damage to this man. You know what? I'm willing to go ahead and shuffle these two back. Because I have, I have the emergency teleport. So, and I said, please go ahead and uh, get me. Slip Rider. I will, I will take Slip Rider. I will take the Slip Rider. Anyway, uh, at this point, I am now 2-1. There's only one round in the tournament left. And the guy who beat me was running Volcanics. He, he had he had the hardest time. Like, if he wouldn't have beat me, uh, I mean, like I said, I'm, I seriously doubt that my opponent here is running any back row. I mean, any... I'm not, I'm not sure how well these, this back row is going to do against him. I'm only running one Mirror Force, too. One Mirror Force, one Compulse, one Mageki. So, no surprise that I'm drawing a whole bunch of them. I said, I, I think I think making the deck and revolving it around uh, Slime Girl might not be too bad. Like I said, uh, uh, I think the Magician, I mean, I think the Shining Angels might be pretty good. Maybe put some Shrinks in? I said, because if I go summon Farm Girl and set the Shrink, you know, you're probably going to try to come after me. Because if you don't come after me and you have to kill me by battle, if you don't, then, you know, I'm going to hop out of the way if you try to hit me with that, bro. Hit you with that Shrink, get that search. So... You know, like I said, I'm gonna experiment with this deck. I'm gonna experiment with what they got. I ain't doing the fucking Jeff Jones way. I think that's stupid, but hey, hey, right? <laughs> well, so we're really just gonna sit here and look at each other for a couple of turns. Oh, well, there it is. You know what? I am not even in a hurry. That's a sad thing. I'm not even in a hurry. I'm gonna keep this in my hand, of course, but I am not in a hurry. I can I can wait three turns. I can wait through turns. I'm a deck then now. Let's just say this card is sent from the field. It's destroyed by a card effect. I was say if it's just sent from the field zone. Say, like, can I fucking play a new Cosmo Town on top? Like, no, it has to be destroyed. Like, oh, oh, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Anyway, the guy, the volcanic guy that beat me, Darren, he had the hardest fucking time with his matchups. But you know, he didn't. He's doing better than me. So after he dueled me, Clee. Uh, but keep in mind, Volcanic, he dueled against the Burning Abyss guy, which is one of Volcanic's worst matchups, and won. Then, after that, in round three, he dueled against the Burning Abyss guy, and won. No, no, drew, he drew, he drew, he drew. Round four, he dueled against the Burning Abyss guy. <laughs> yes, people, I shit you not. He went against fucking Cleek, Burning Abyss, Burning Abyss, Burning Abyss. It was like, wow. I thought this it was, I thought this was local. It was like, nah, nigga, for you, it's regionals. For you, it's regionals. Holy shit, fucking YCS. And, uh... So my round four, I go up against this weird concoction of what the fuck is that? You would never see that fucking shit coming. Uh, deck of uh, Shadals combined with Insectors. Like, what? Yes, people. Yes. Shadals combined with Insectors. I'll say it again. Shadals combined with with Insectors. I really don't like to shuffle spell because I like to keep these in my hand. So, uh, right now, I'm okay. Like I said, I don't need to do anything. I can take a little slow. So, like I said, I'm not sure how I feel about the Mirror Forces and stuff. I might take the Mirror Force out. The Geki's a nice, you know, breaker. Uh, Kapulse, uh, I don't know how I feel about that either. Kapulse is, you know, just Kapulse, you know. Love-hate relationship, like, usually depends on what deck you use it against and, you know, how you use it. Because depending on what you could pulse, it could be a nag, but then, you know, it could also be the straight pluses, too, so, not bad. Gonna go ahead and play that emergency teleport. Now I'm gonna go on the offensive. 
Nah, I'm about to fuck you up. Try to stall me with swords. But now it's over. And I pull out my gun! No. <laughs> so, should she not? Shadal and Zector. She's like, what the fuck is that? I know, what the fuck is that? And the, the, the thing is, the duels were like day and fucking night. First duel, he fucking... Pure Shadal's. I didn't, I didn't see a single Zector. Pure fucking Shadal's. But... You would think that I'm playing on fucking DN or Depro with the fucking number generator because all the duels he would op he opened up Toronto, Foolish, Soul Charge, Regaki, fucking just bottomless warning. So of course, as soon as I fucking pendulum summon, I'm just gonna get fucking wrecked. So that's fucking awesome, right? It feels like this guy's trying to stall me. It really does. It feels like the, my opponent here is trying to stall me. Hell yeah, I'll continue my replay. Do my redo my replay. Fucking kill you. Give me all them tokens. Now I'll go ahead and tag her out. Or slip. Summon that, uh. Summon that Millennium Ruby Slipper. After I got rid of my Dorothy Skywalker. To tell you the truth, and you guys might crucify me this, I have never seen a Star Wars movie. Nope, not once. I have never seen a Star Wars movie. Oh, oh, nope, I don't, I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I'm not really into watching movies, so I never watched it. <laughs> anyway, so, of course, you know, with his fucking number joining real lucky ass, because you guys know my luck is terrible. Everybody I do against luck is great, so uh, he, he hella got everything, you know? It was literally like, it was literally like Pendulum Summon, Torrental. All right, well I'm just gonna Pendulum Summon next turn. He top decked and bottomless. Like, oh my god, so Pendulum bottomless. Like, I didn't get the Summon fucking killer the first duel, and he just beat my ass. So, like, I was like Pendulum Summon. He's like bottomless. So I, I had a scout, so the scout stayed. So I was like, all right, he has no, none of his shit all get over my scout. He has fucking Winda. He can't special summon too much. So you know, I'm fucking next turn with my single summon special summon. It's gonna be all my Pendulum Summon tribute summon towers. GG. That's it. You lose, right? No, he topped that Regeki. Throws a Regeki at my ass. Game. Like, oh my god. Great. Thank you. Fucking. We go to fucking. Uh... I should have normal summoned this. Yeah, I should have normal summoned this. Uh, we go to game two. And, uh. Nah. I'm okay. I'm okay. Because this floats. Uh, we go to game two. Once again, foolish. Soul charge. It was like. It was like. Literally. It was like foolish. Send a hornet. Fucking. Uh, summon Dragonfly, equip on equip, start popping my shit, start summoning, fucking wreck my ass. And Inductors is actually one of my worst matchups with Cleese because with their Gigamantis and their fucking sword, if they equip both, they go to 32 and it's actually strong enough, stronger to run over my fucking towers and wreck my And they are already popping my fucking scales. So I'm sitting here trying to stand in this duel. I'm like, punch him something. He's like, Torrental. And he's like, Draw. Oh, there it is. He's like, Draw. Fucking, uh. Hell yeah. Uh, fuck good witch. I still don't like you, good witch. You're still not doing it for me. Okay, he's just gonna surrender. He's just gonna surrender. But say good. I'm about to summon farm girl. He tries to come after my farm girl. I'm literally gonna fuck you up, forerunner style. Like, oh my god. Like I said, I don't need the mirror force. I, I thought I did, but I don't need it. I don't need it. So I'm gonna take the mirror force out. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Dark Holes in, just cause these guys like to go ahead and go off with Dark Holes and shit, cause they're just destroyed, period. So, that's not a nice play. If, if I need be, I can just go ahead and Dark Hole while either, uh, Slip Rider or Four Runners on the field, get their effects, summon Farm Girls, Tack, Search, Special, so, Dark Holes are still good, Turn is still good, uh, some of the background is still good, like I said, I'm not sure about how I felt about the Compulse, um, I mean, what, what, mm, I mean, I guess I can use the Compulse defensively and offensively, uh, since they can't really target Forerunner, you know, but they can summon shit like Hot Red, so that might be good to kill ahead and keep the Compulse. Bottomless is fine, of course. Uh, like I said, I'm not playing anything that pays life points, because I pay way too much life points. I'd rather not run some Warning Reinstruction, I don't need them. <sighs> anyway, you know, it was very, it was very like, alright, he turned to me both duels, so I was like, some Pendulum, some Trental, then he drew straight into Solemn Warning, set that, my Pendulum Warning, and... He beat my ass, he beat my ass. He was 2-0, beat my ass through luck. And he he, he he was just laughing his ass off and he's just like, ha ha ha, I'm so lucky. I'm like, yeah, of course, you know. I'm getting my ass beat by cards I won. Like, every, both duels he opened up with, a, he opened up, he got with at least four cards I won in his first uh, 10 cards. 
Both duels. It was stupid. So I go 2-2. Two, two. Of course, I don't fucking talk. Uh, the guy who uh, beat me in the first round, um, round four, he goes against a, uh, a Burning Abyss guy. He beats him. So he beats me. Uh, he beats it a Burning Abyss guy. He draws and he beats. So he, he went three and draw. And uh, he top twos. And guess what he top twos? That guy that he drew with? He also went top two, so he had to duel his opponent that he drew. They had a 40-minute first fucking duel. Like, that's how stupid it was. That's how they drew. Because fucking 40 minutes went by, and the Burning Abyss guy finally won. Then when they went into time, and then, the, the of course, you know, Volcanics are, can easily burn for enough to get that uh, game. And it was a draw. Uh... And he just said, fuck it. The man, Darian Healer, just said, fuck it. Let him have it. I don't care. I'm not doing against Burning Abyss. He, he went through a fucking marathon. This is the thing. But if I would have beat him and I would have done it against a Burning Abyss, I would have beat their ass. Because that Burning Abyss matchup is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I swear to God. You know, if I go first, I'm going to drop towers on you, GG. If you go first, hopefully you have more background, background than you. Because generally they can they only have, like, you know, like a comic cutter or, uh, or like a Fiend Swing One Blast or something along those lines. So... I'm going to draw into that extra card. I'm going to go ahead and Pendulum Storm 4. You're going to be like, all right, well, you know, Karma cut one of them, and I'm going to just trip the other creature killer. So I, I you know, I 2 all Burning Abyss all day. So literally, if I, if he, if I would beat him, I would have won against Burning Abyss, beat that ass. When it, the, the guy that he faced and drew with, that's the guy who I beat in, in uh, top uh, four last time and won the final round. Beat him. I'll beat his ass again. Fucking beat the other Burning Abyss guy, and that Burning Abyss guy fucking ran... Uh, the fucking uh, Fusion Dante. I was like, say what? Yeah, he actually ran the Fusion Dante. So, like I said, it just, Darian fucked me. He burned me to fucking death with his goddamn volcanics against my fucking cleaves, and I wasn't able to top. He kicked me out of top, and then he didn't even win. Like, that's the stupid shit, man. So I got, I went up and just said, it's stupid, unlucky shit, and just like, oh my god. So, yep, there it is. <laughs> anyway, Cosmos now on Daily Duels. So, uh, the thumbnail looks pretty decent, you know, with what uh, Lunar made it for me, but, you know, it's kind of difficult to work with, because there's just no art for them, you know, there's no background or anything, you know, it's just a Cosmos, and it's really like, arts or people, they're like, oh, here's a Cosmo deck profile with, like, you know, the image of Farm Girl or Slip Rider, so, you know, we worked with what we got, you know, it's better than what I could have done, so I appreciate Lunar and all his help, but... There you go. So I'm gonna tweak this deck a little bit more, and like I said, maybe I'm gonna make it really farm girl reliant. Like I said, the shining angel is gonna put in a lot of work. Like I said, floating with uh, itself, touching itself, touching farm girl, touching honest, just touching everybody. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm already running some lances, but I really do think that I could probably trick my opponent into just getting fucked up by uh, farm girl if I run uh, a shrink. I mean, think about it. I'm 15. So if you attack me with anything under 3,000. You're getting hit um, like during the damage check shrink. You're getting cut in half. I did damage to you. I get to search You're dying. I'm gonna fucking switch out So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and try shrink, but we're gonna be back next uh, week with some more cosmos on Wednesdays Like I said, please are out cuz I already run please and I'm gonna just see what I can do with this deck What I can do with five fucking uh, cosmo monsters. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of daily duels So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support uh, You know, I wouldn't be anywhere on this YouTube without y'all so uh, if you guys have any suggestions for this deck, go ahead and tell me. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, sports. Uh, joined by, I don't know, you'll find out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all right, people. Thanks for watching.